Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, uh, the Gem Info Guide Program. Uh, so I am your host, Abraham Arellano, a gemstone collector from the Philippines. Today's video is about a kind of a silicate mineral group that usually found or that usually uh, grown in a paper type. Uh, this uh, kind of uh, crystalline uh, minerals we call this uh, tourmaline. So because before we dive into our topic, please subscribe my channel and click the notification bell. Uh, so we, as we start, the tourmaline is a crystalline silicate mineral group in where uh, uh, boron is compounded with elements such as aluminum, iron, magnesium, and sodium, lithium, and potassium. These gemstones come in a variety in a wide variety of colors and named derived right from Sinhalese tourmaline, which refers to the carnelian uh, gemstone. But tourmaline are transparent, brilliant, and clean with attractive bluish green hues. Most green tourmaline are strongly pleurochromic uh, stones that shows attractive colors in both directions, such as bright green in one and blue in another, are the most valuable. One of the most tourmaline sought after and generally available colors is the pink red variety in the trade as a, known as the new trade as ruby light. Um, uh, the chrome tourmaline gems offer hues that are more saturated than most green tourmaline. Chrome tourmaline can be a lower price alternative to chaparite and emerald. Both these gems are rare in size about 2 carats, but it's not hard to find chrome tourmaline in size up to 5 carats. While tourmaline cannot match chaparite luster of brilliance, if it's far less expensive than a chaparite of equivalent size and quality. Dark toned stone, uh, which are more common in the marketplace, aren't very attractive. Some uh, absorb light so intensely that they appear almost black from certain direction. Blue uh, tourmaline can range in tone uh, from light to dark. The hue is often modified by green, so you can have a blue color with just a little bit of a green. A modifying color is a very greenish but still blue. Some tourmaline have a, um, even uh, amount of green and blue to the colors like green tourmaline. The blue colors um, can be strong and vivid or less saturated and grayish since it is uh, discovered in the late 1980s. The Paraiba tourmalines are striking neon blows and green have electrified the gem world. The gem unique vivid coloring instantly gets its apart from other tourmaline. The gem is an alveolar tourmaline that comes from one area of Paraiba state in Brazil, northeast corner that forms in pegmatite, but researcher uh, they believe that it's crystal from under unusual condition with large amount of trace elements like manganese and copper, which causes its color. Paraiba tourmaline is uh, unusual because all the copper color some other gems, notably turquoise, is not a coloring agent in any other tourmaline. Uh, tor uh, Paraiba tourmaline appears in a range of greenish blue. Blue is um, green, green blue, and violet blue. All the buyers covet all these colors blue and violet have the most appeal. Copper bearing tourmaline that resembles the vibrant of the instant color of the gems found in Brazil. Paraiba tourmaline or region have been um, found in other parts of the world. The Gemological Institute of America Gems Gemology uh, the, uh, described the uh, copper bearing tourmaline gem of the Muslim Big Nigeria had been a source of these striking gems as well, and this also discovered in Brazil and Eastern Africa. This rare copper bearing tourmaline, watermelon, the 
bicolor and multicolored zoning occurs when the traced element changes in concentration or composition during the crystal growth. Lidicotide can show striking and complex, complex zoning and gems are often fashioned to showcase exotic colors, a combination as party color. A color tourmaline mm, grows in an environment rich in liquid and some of these liquids are often captured as inclusion during the crystal growth. The most typical inclusion resembles thread-like cavities that run parallel to the length of the crystal under magnification and they are filled with liquid or gas bubbles. Broad tubes, long hollow tubes often capped with mini crystals are common tourmaline inclusion and sometimes they can cause cut ice effect if it is correctly cut. Thank you and this brings me to end the topic. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, follow. And thank you for watching and your loving support. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.